In this lesson, we're going to talk about what a pick is and how to use it. Here's a little collection of guitar picks I have. The pick, more formally known as the plectrum, is any small object that's held by a guitarist and used to strike the strings in order to create sound. Most of them are teardrop shaped or triangular shaped, about an inch long, about a millimeter thick, and are made of plastic. I've seen picks made of metal and stone. I've seen picks that are much smaller than this and much larger than this. But, as I say, most of them are some kind of plastic about this shape, size, and thickness. For the purposes of this lesson, I'll just use this white one here because it shows up better on screen. Pick should be held between the pad of your index finger, the pad of your thumb, so that it forms a natural extension of your index finger. See the tip poking out there? You want to choke up on the pick enough so that it comes out a little bit, not too much because then you don't have a firm grip on it, it'll flop around, fall right out of your fingers. You don't want to choke up too much because then there's not enough exposed to strike the strings. You'll just hit your fingernail or your finger. You want to have just enough of it exposed so that it forms that natural extension so that the tip comes out there and that you've got a loose, light, but firm grip on it. Don't hold it too tight, otherwise your fingers and your hand will get all tense and it'll be difficult to strike the strings with it like you're supposed to. It's very important to work towards making any and all motions you make while playing the guitar, while picking or strumming as smooth and efficient as possible. Of course, picking is included in this. You want to do this by focusing on proper body mechanics. Start with good posture, but remember that that translates all the way down your arm, your forearm, your elbow, to your wrist, and your hand, and your fingers, so that you've got a loose and relaxed approach to this. You want to have just enough pressure, you want to use just enough pressure to make the sound necessary. Those fine motor skills of picking individual strings or to strumming and cross strings. Those are very difficult things to learn. You'll have to, a lot of time to practice it. You'll have to be patient with yourself. But remember, it should be as smooth and efficient as possible without any pressure that would be wasted effort. So, take your time to make sure that it's smooth and efficient. Remember that when you are striking the strings, either individually or in a group of them as you play the chord, that you strike the strings very lightly and evenly. Don't dig in too far. Don't put the pick too far into the string because that's only going to make it harder to get to the next note or next string. You'll get caught in there. And also, it can cause the string to vibrate too much unnecessarily, make the pitch sharp, or cause too much of an uneven sound from note to note. So you want to lightly graze over the string in either direction. Whether picking or strumming. Remember that you want to have a smooth and efficient motion with just enough pressure on the pick, and you want to Lightly graze over the strings. Don't dig in too far. And you'll be on your way. All of this stuff can take a long time to learn, so be patient with yourself and your pick. We'll see you in future lessons.